Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shari Aqeel. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Honorary President of the Bahrain Garden Club, received today at Safriya Palace the head of the Bahrain Garden Club, Zahra Abdul Malik, where she presented His Majesty a book titled 50 Fruitful Years, which documents the historic march of the club. His Majesty expressed thanks for receiving the book, noting the efforts exerted in writing it. His Majesty hailed the achievements of the club since its establishment 50 years ago and its contribution in developing the agricultural sector and supporting various initiatives to preserve the environment and maintain national and natural resources through enhancing community partnership and spreading awareness on agricultural culture. His Majesty the King affirmed that the interest in agriculture is part of Bahraini heritage and expressed keenness to maintain the aesthetic side of the kingdom. He thanked the Bahrain Garden Club for its contributions and participation in various local and international flower and garden shows, wishing them further success. For her part, the head of the club expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, hailing His Majesty's support to the club's activities and projects to achieve the set goals and aspirations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace, the editor-in-chief of Daily Tribune newspaper and president of the Organization of African Unity for Human Rights, Captain Muhammad Yusuf Al Mahmoud, who presented His Majesty his book, The King of Humanity, Human Rights in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which reviews the leading role of His Majesty the King in humanitarian fields and documents the kingdom's important achievements in the fields of human rights during the era of His Majesty the King. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts the guests made in preparing the book, affirming that the Kingdom takes pride in its human rights record, which is based on modern and advanced constitutional and legal texts. His Majesty added that the Bahraini community has been distinguished with its noble values of coexistence, equality and pluralism. His Majesty noted the contributions of Captain Muhammad Al Mahmoud in various rights, journalism and media aspects, wishing him success in his future publications. His Majesty the King expressed pride in Bahraini competencies and their continued achievements in all fields and events which reflect the high regional and international status of the Kingdom. Captain Mohammed Al Mahmoud expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his commendation of the book, expressing appreciation for His Majesty's support to Bahraini competencies who are keen on strengthening the leading role of the Kingdom and promoting it on the global level during the era of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received yesterday at Sakhir Palace writer Dr. Lula Budlama, who presented a copy of her book, Reading in Hamad bin Isa's Speeches. The book highlights the significance of the keynote royal addresses, which reflect His Majesty the King's directives towards consolidating the standing of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its pioneering role in all fields. His Majesty the King commended the author's efforts, stressing the importance of the book which represents an important addition to the National Library's publications. He lauded bah Bahraini women's contributions in the cultural and media fields through their valuable literary and intellectual works. His Majesty the King stressed the crucial role of Bahraini thinkers, writers, media figures, and journalists in enlightening public opinion and enhancing cultural and literary life towards consolidating national unity, serving Bahraini society, and defending its causes wishing the writer further success and progress. The author expressed deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King, hailing royal care and support to journalists and media figures to continue serving their national mission. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronized the honoring ceremony of the Heritage Night Competition winners formed by the Heritage Sports Committee. His Highness asserted that the Heritage Night Competition aims to promote heritage sports inspired by the authentic Bahraini traditions, noting the success of the first edition of the competition.
His Highness praised the large number of participants, which include four different heritage sports, and affirmed that it reflects the community's interest in heritage sports and its desire to preserve it. He also directed the Heritage Sports Committee to develop the competition by organizing a second edition. The head of the Heritage Sports Committee, Khalifa bin Abdullah al Gouroud, valued the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad and affirmed that the committee is keen on implementing His Highness's directives, which aim to promote heritage sports. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, arrived at the Representatives Council today, where he was received by the Council Speaker, Fozia bin Abdullah Zainal, the First Deputy Speaker, Abdul Nabi Salman, the Second Deputy Speaker, Ali Al Zayed, members of the Bureau, and the Council's members. The Deputy Prime Minister delivered to the Representatives Council the statement of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the Government Action Plan 2019-2022 to for the fifth legislative term under the theme Sustainable Economic and Social Security in Light of a Financial Balance. The Representatives Council Speaker delivered a speech in which she welcomed the representative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak and the government members.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak delivered a speech in which he expressed honor in delivering the speech of the Government Action Plan 2019 to 2022 on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Highness congratulated the Representative Council members on gaining the people's trust and the Shura Council members on gaining the royal trust, expressing aspiration to continue the march of growth and the development of the democratic approach. He also expressed pleasure in being entrusted by His Majesty the King with the national duty during the current time period, reiterating the keenness on fulfilling the vision of His Majesty the King, which came in his speech during the government's constitutional oath, particularly the content of His Majesty's speech during the opening of the first session of the fifth legislative term. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak stated that the current financial and economic challenges call for increasing cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities and the support of the people to preserve the achieved gains and reach a financial balance and economic stability. The government's action will focus on achieving these goals and on providing a supporting infrastructure in cooperation with the private sector while providing and improving government services, increasing security and stability, supporting the democratic system and enhancing foreign relations. His Highness expressed confidence that the cooperation between the government and the Representatives Council will be a key factor in achieving the Kingdom's aspirations, overcoming challenges and beginning a new stage of development. His Highness wished the Kingdom success to achieve the vision of His Majesty the King and the aspirations of the Bahraini people. In the government statement, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister congratulated the Council members on gaining the Bahraini people's trust by electing them with an unprecedented wide participation. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness to move forward the development march in cooperation with the legislative authority and to achieve the vision of His Majesty the King, which came in the letter of commission for the formation of the ministry and the royal speech at the opening of the first session of the fifth legislative term. His Highness noted that the Government Action Plan aims to achieve financial balance, economic stability, sustainable development, meet the citizens' needs, and take an active role with the private sector. It also aims to develop and improve government performance to keep up the development programs. He noted that achieving these goals requires strengthening cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. For her part, the Representative Council Speaker praised the achievements and gains of the Democratic March in the Kingdom, led by His Majesty the King. 
She reaffirmed the council's keenness to cooperate with the government to support the reform project and the democratic march through constructive constitutional practices under the rule of law and institutions led by His Master the King. She expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for delivering the speech of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the government's action plan and affirmed that the Council will discuss it pursuant to Article 46 of the Bahraini Constitution and Article 165 of the Council of Representatives Rule of Procedure. Members of Parliament expressed their keenness to work with the government on the action plan of 2019 to 2022 and expressed appreciation for the government's support through constructive cooperation with the Council. First of all, the program of the government uh, that we have received, uh, we are looking forward to discuss and see the points that are given uh, from the government itself. Uh, we may reject or we may not, but uh, it depends all on the points that are given from the government itself. We would like to add some points, of course, and uh, we're going to be more accurate on the figures that are given, and uh, we are sure going to be with the government towards uh, people's uh, will. Bahrain Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received the commander of the Gulf Cooperation Council, the GCC, Unified Military Command Lieutenant General Eid bin Awad al shalouwi in the presence of Defense Affairs Minister Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al naimi and Chief of Staff Dhiya bin Sagar al naimi The Commander-in-Chief praised the efforts exerted by the GCC Unified Military Command in consolidating the shared goal and destiny of the GCC countries. The BDF General Command Headquarters Director Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Saad Military Cooperations Director, Naval Major General Hashim Masada, and Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations, Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala, were also present. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fozia bint Abdullah Zainad, shared the weekly council meeting, which witnessed the launch of the government action plan for the years 2019 to 2022. In the beginning of the session, Zainal congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on his good health, wishing him abundant health and happiness to continue his march of growth and prosperity in Bahrain. The Speaker of the Representatives asserted that the latest parliamentary elections were proof of the support of the people of Bahrain for the democratic march and the partnership in the national decision-making process for the future of the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Zainal asserted the firmness and consolidation of the reform process and promoting the role of citizens in presenting and discussing the government action plan, which is a model of cooperation between the representative council and the government. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 5,000 housing units the Ministry of Housing affirmed the continuation of the distribution process in the Ramli housing project. The Ministry added that the process of distribution of housing units to beneficiaries will continue until mid-January according to the distribution plan, noting that the project is one of the main projects in the government action plan. In light of the efforts of the National Bureau for Taxation for the proper application of value-added mechanisms and in accordance with the decisions related to its implementation, the Bureau is currently completing technical preparations to launch a refund system for a percentage of the amount collected as VAT for tourists and visitors upon leaving the Kingdom. The system will be implemented during the current year, noting that the refund system will be implemented in cooperation with one of the international companies specialized in this field and using a comprehensive high-capacity digital technology to ensure that tourists receive the amounts. 
According to the system, businesses listed in the tax will be linked to the ports of departure at Bahrain International Airport. Upon departure from the kingdom, tourists and visitors will be able to recover a percentage of the VAT paid on the purchases made during the visit. The call center has successfully responded to over 1,000 VAT-related queries per day through its hotline and email since the induction of the VAT on January 1, 2019. The National Bureau for Taxation noted that the sudden influx of queries reflects consumers' and investors' eagerness to expand their VAT procedural and legal framework knowledge. As a result, the NBT will increase the total number of the people employed in the call center to advance its customer service standards and to equip the center with the resources it needs to manage sudden influxes. The MBT concluded by requesting the call center to provide all VAT-related information in a transparent and efficient manner upon which success is built. The NBT continues to encourage citizens to conduct or rather to contact the call center on or via email for general and technical queries in addition to taking advantage of the information available on MBT's website, Instagram and Twitter.